Hello everyone. Today we'll go over Yusaku training. Name that number. In this problem, we're given an ID, which is a number um, that contains up to twelve digits, and then we're supposed to find the which which names that may correspond from that ID. And we're given a name like a key, which means that two corresponds to A, B, and C, 3 is D, E, F, 4 is G, H, I, and here. And we're also given a dictionary, which is basically a list of names, and that those are only the valid names. So for this example, in this 81 names, um, the answer is only Greg because in this case, 4 corresponds to G, the 7 corresponds to R, the 3 corresponds to E, and then the last 4 corresponds to G. So that makes up Greg, which should be over here. So let's find Greg. It's actually over here. And then any other combination in this case would not work. Okay, so let's just draw this out. So here we have 4, 7. Oops, we have four, we have seven, we have three. So in this case, we know that four can re represent G, H, or I. So G, H, I. Seven re can represent, um, I can represent P, E, R, or S. Three can represent um, D, E, or F, and 4 can, again, it can represent G, H, of I. So one idea is to basically generate all the possible combinations for this case. So there's going to be 3 to the, let's use a different color, so 3 to the 4th combinations because you're ch basically choosing um, you're choosing three, like three possible names from, or like three, three types of. You're choosing from three different letters from each group, and since there's four, um, four digits, then it would be to the power of four. Okay, so. Okay, so let's assume that you can generate this. So let's just say, for an example, we can have G S D G. Okay, so we have. G S D G. Okay, so um, like, and then now we need to search it in the dictionary that we're given, and for this case, it would not be the in the dictionary. But then, if you look at the overall runtime, it would actually be three to the twelfth, since there can be at most twelve characters, and then it, you would multiply it by the size of the dictionary, which would be four seven three four. But, and in this case, this um, this would be like too large. I mean, the runtime would be too large. So we, now we need to optimize this. Okay, so let's look at the dictionary. So basically, since we're given it actually in sorted order, or we could actually sort it itself if it's not in sorted order. Okay, so let's just say our dictionary is A, B, C, D, E. So let's just say we're looking for E. So here is our target, our target. We can actually perform like a binary search on this dictionary to find if E exists. So in the beginning, let's just label this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So in the beginning, our range is the whole thing. And then our middle would be the front plus the back divided by two. So it'd be zero plus five divided by two, which would be two. So we're basically checking if this point is equal to our target. And since it is not, we compare it with our target. Since our target is basically to the right, which means that our target is larger than our current one, you change the, um, okay, you, you change the, 
you change the um you basically split it in half which results in from here to the end so now our middle is four which in this case we just found our target since it is the middle element now for this binary search implementation you could actually just implement it on your own or you could just in c plus plus you could use um a std set and then to basically you could just insert all the strings so this would be a string so you could just insert it and then you could just either just use find to find if it's in there or not okay so now let's get to coding so let's include our files or file so you include std okay so you, we're reading first from name num dot n so be f stream fn name num dot n and you're writing to a file which is name num dot out so in this case um so here's our id i'm going i'm just going to read it as um a string which then you would just do fn id okay so now we need to generate our combination so let's just use a function to do this so we'll call it we'll call it com so now we need the current index that we're on so in the originally it would just be zero and then you should have like uh what what your current string is which is um what you have so far for your so and originally it would be empty okay so now we need um we need a map or something that would represent us to make that such that if the current one is a two then it would point to a b or c and onward so let's have a map so the first thing would be a character since we're using a string not like an integer or something so then here you would have a so let's call this m a vector which basically this means that for example it would be two would be a b or c okay so now we need to make that so m of 2 would be equal to a b c and m of 3 would be equal to d e or f Whoops, D, E, F. M of 4 would be equal to G, H, or I. So G, H, I. M of 5 would be equal to um, J, K, or L. Okay, so should be there and m of six will be equal to m n or o m of seven would be equal seven would be equal to p r s m of eight would be equal to um T U V M of nine will be equal to W X and Y. So W X and Y. Okay. So now we know we know like which character are on. So basically you, you would loop through all the possible like next character for this. So it would be for basically which let's call this C H. So it's in our M of our current ID. So for the example, the first character would be a four. So it would loop through G, H, or I for the first character. So now we need to basically recursively generate the possible ones. So it would be your increment I because um, you're finished generating it for this current one. And then you would, the resulting one would be C plus your current character. Okay, so now basically if we finish generating our 
um, our strings. And we need to, and for that case, the the i would be the length of the string. Okay, so for this, we need to check if it's in the set or not, or in the list of names. So let's have a set. As I said before, you can have a set to use the binary search like function. Let's call it s. So before this, we need to also read, let's call this dictionary in. So it's called dict.txt. So since there is um there is four thousand, it's um okay. So it's four thousand seven hundred thirty-four. So for i equals zero, I should be less than that. You can increment i. So let's have a temporary string, and then you would just read your string, and then you would just insert your set, insert it into your set. Okay. So now basically to check if it's in there, we just do if s dot find c if it's not equal to its end because if you can't find it then it would just be equal to s dot end so if it's not equal then you can have like your answer you just push back your current string so now all we need to do is just sort our um basically sort our answer i mean we have to have our string our answer so string Answer. Okay. So now we just insert. So now we need to call our function. So it'll be com. Okay. So now if if our answer is empty, so if answer is empty, then you would just print none. If not, then you would just for each string in your answer, you just I found out CL. You would just print S. Okay, so now we need our input. So for this, it would be 47. Now we don't change that. Whoops. So for our take that txt, I'm just going to copy the the file that's given. Okay, so let's run this. It's executing. Okay, so let's check. So that's Greg. Looks like there is a end line before that. Because there shouldn't be an end line. I'm just going to use. See so yeah, to just see if it's should like not have an extra end line. Okay. Seems it looks like there is an extra end line. Okay, so we can also do this to just be more safe. So if um if like okay, so we could just print these sides of our answer first, so see how Answer dot size. So size of our answer is two. Okay, so it looks like so we can also just make this to be safe. So basically, um, we can basically just empty like our since our goal is to have um a like names that have the exact size as your, the name of your ID, we can also um just have like a temporary vector that sort that that um that includes all the possible ones because for this case it looks like our answer it does not look right. Okay, so here you would just do. We can de declare a vector called this temp. So basically, for each string in your answer, you only you only uh, um append it to your to your like answer if the size so if s that size if it's equal to your id size. So then, 
you just push back yes. oh so it actually actually we shouldn't do that so over here it actually should be id that length it's basically if we're done processing the um we're done processing the we're done like generating the combination so that should be right now okay so now we just need to I thought so I'm just going to submit this so my ID is dong3 um its problem is name num the language is C plus plus eleven So let's submit this. Okay, so we're just going to select this file. Okay, so it looks like that is right. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Bye.